damn it! Damn it! Go away! Come on! Where are you? I'm sorry you had to go through that scene at the expo. Things didn't work out the way you expected, but everything's gonna turn out okay. See, I... I know how this story turns out, and... The story is over. <gasps> Listen to me, Emmett. Do exactly as I say. Don't do anything. Why not? Listening to you has worked out so well for me thus far. Mm-hmm. Mm, they say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. Stop! What are you doing up here? Don't jump! I wasn't gonna jump! Uh, then what are you- This is where I come when I want to think. Oh. When I want to be alone. Oh. What are you thinking about? Can't you take a hint? I don't want you here. I don't need you. You don't know what you need. And you do? As a matter of fact, yeah. You need... to get your mind off your problems. Go see a movie. I hear Frankenstein's pretty good. Frankenstein? I tell you that my buried life force is drained away, and you want to talk about Hollywood monster movies. It's a very inspirational monster movie. Especially the scene where they bring the monster to life. There's this big gurney that lifts him up into the air and... And see, there's this wild storm going on and lightning crashing everywhere. It's amazing. And you just gotta see it, Emmett. It'll change your life. Look at my helmet. Which light is flashing? Yellow. Apathy. I don't care about movies. I don't care about anything anymore. And I never will. Don't give me that. You care. We're all depending on you to pull it together. Why, you're gonna put Hill Valley on the map. Oh, please. My greatest fear is that I'll end up frittering my life away in this miserable town. Uh... You still care about inventing things. <laughs> inventing is overrated. 99% hype, 10% fraud. Name one invention that ever did anybody any good. Uh, how about... Automobile was a great invention, right? You love cars. Yes. If I'm lucky, I may be struck by one today. Help me out here. You're getting on my nerves, Corleone. At least you would be if I still cared about anything. Me? You care about me, Doc. <laughs> you? Y yeah. You. You did this to me. Did what? I was perfectly content drudging away in my dad's law office. You show up out of nowhere, get me all excited about inventing, and disappear. Two months later, you show up again, you trick me into making a hero out of myself and getting involved with Edna Strickland. Then you appear a third time and pretend to be my friend just so you can yank the rug out from under me and send me sprawling into the dirt. Okay, I can work with that. I loathe you, Michael Corleone. Or is that even your real name? Marty. My name is Marty. Oh, so everything you've told me has been a lie. More or less. Why? Why did you ruin my life? Edna was no good for you. She was leading you down the wrong path. I see. You had my best interests at heart. Yeah. Just like my father. But there's more to it, see? Your father doesn't know your true path. And you do? Yes! How is it that I could create a mental alignment meter and yet fail to realize that you are completely delusional? Oh, what does it matter? The world is absurd. No, I know exactly what I'm doing. See? I know this may sound crazy, but you gotta listen. In 1985, you're gonna invent a time machine. You're right. It sounds crazy. 
I'm just trying to explain where I'm coming from. I did it for fun. You ruined my life for fun? Yeah, that's how I get my kicks. You bastard. And all that time you spent building up my dreams telling me I was going to be a great scientist. Yeah, what a laugh. Dreams are only for people with guts enough to follow them. You're saying I don't have guts? You? <laughs> Look at you. What do you know? A person like you? You don't know the first thing about me. I have more dreams in my little finger than you'll ever have. Hey, daydreams don't count. Daydreams? That's what they said to Edison. That's what they said to Einstein. That's what they said to Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, and look what they accomplished. I'm sick of people telling me what I can and can't do. First my father, then Edna, now you. Listen to me, good. From now on, I'm living my life my way. I'm taking my own advice and I'm following my own ideas. My ideas, do you hear me? My ideas. Great Scott, I've got it. Got what? The solution, my invention. I know how to make it work. Mental alignment meter? No, no, my airborne personal transport device. The rocket car? Not rockets, not rockets at all. That was my mistake. The basic idea was sound, but the propulsion system was unworkable. But the lightning, the lightning! Suddenly the answer is clear. It came to me all at once, like, like... A bolt of lightning? Exactly! Static electricity! Super ionized static electricity powering the asynchronous oscillation of frictionless plates inside the... What's this stupid thing doing on my head? Damn it! You're, you're, you're you again! Here, I've been wasting my time with silly mind-reading tricks when there's serious science to be done. <gasps> and the expo begins at 8! Let's get the hell out of here before anything else happens! What? I said, let's get out of here before anything... <gasps> What? Can you climb up? I'm afraid I can't find a convenient purchase for my upper limbs. What? No handhold. Got anything useful on you? Only my wallet. Oh, and this portable anti-stick, anti-stain formula. Don't. I'm sorry I had to get you so upset. See, I figured you needed to... Forget it! This isn't the time for long-winded explanations. I'll help you finish your new invention. Great! The first step is to get me down from here! Hang in there! Very funny! The expo's already started. It's not going anywhere. Emmett's solution. This stuff's dangerous. Emmett's helmet. I don't think he needs it now. Can't grab it from here. It's not going anywhere. Hold on! I wasn't planning on doing anything else. Let's get out of here! Pants! They're stuck! Do something before we're crushed! Ah. What are you doing? Trust me! Hold on! <laughs> what did you say your name was again? Marty. Marty? Thanks. Don't mention it. 
Tungsten. The catalyst will need to be made out of tungsten, given the temperature within the convertible no doubt be intense. I'll have to harvest the filaments from all the light bulbs in my house. Your invention? You think you can finish it before the end of the expo? Think? I've got to. My future depends on it. Then let's go. Of course, the oscillating plates will need to be calibrated precisely. Even the slightest misalignment could cause the magnetic field to fluctuate in intensity, leading to sudden shifts in polarity. The results could conceivably be catastrophic. Who cares? My thought exactly. Science should be messy and unpredictable, or else where's the fun of it? Need a lift? Mr. Sagan, got the kinks worked out of your car of the future? Uh, not all of them, but at least the DeLorean's mundane terrestrial functionality remains intact. As usual, I have not the slightest idea what you're talking about. In fact, you remind me of someone... someone I used to... <laughs> there, there, my dear, don't worry. I'm sure we'll all turn out well in the end. Maybe for everyone else, but I suddenly feel very much like someone who's going to be alone and unloved for a very long time. Maybe I should get a cat. Nonsense. I can state with nearly 100% certainty that you're going to have a long and fulfilling life. How can you know that? I think you'll find I know almost everything worth knowing about you and young Emmett and his friends. Tell me, how much do you know about Michael Corio? Let me explain it again. I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. It was science. She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. If Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the Expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Doc, 